Good evening. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, all you jazz lovers out there. Uh, we're experiencing a little bit of internet issues. We uh, want to say we're sorry right after that, uh, but that's just some sometimes how it is. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and start blasting. All right. Kevin, why don't you take us away?
Yeah, guys. Right on, right on. That was the Jody Grind, the Jody Grind, uh, written by Horace Silver, arranged by bassist John Clayton for the Clayton Hamilton Jazz Orchestra back in 2005. It was also recorded on their album Live at the Manchester Craftsman Guild. Uh, this song was originally recorded by the world famous pianist and songwriter Horace Silver on the also on the album called The Jody Grind back in 1966. Uh, this feature right off the gate, our uh, second tenor player, Gustavo Lizarraga on tenor sax, yeah. And also we heard from uh, Mark Maynard on trombone and a little bit of a dabble here and there uh, on the drums with Kevin, Kevin Winard. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. This is a Santa Barbara City College's Monday Madness Jazz Orchestra uh, on a Sunday. Sunday Madness doesn't rhyme as well, so but we'll still call ourselves Monday Madness. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, uh, we are experiencing a little bit of a hiccups here and there. Some of the latency is is a little bit a little bit less stable than it was earlier. So if you hear some jittery on my end, I am sorry um, and. Uh, well, just some of the things we have to roll with. Um, we're going to go ahead and play our next song. This is a song called Pools. Uh, this song was written by pianist Don Growlick, uh, and it's also arranged by trombonist John Fetchuk. Uh, this arrangement uh, was recorded on the Woody Herman album, the 50th anniversary tour back in 1986. Uh, Pools, this song was originally um, written for the band Steps Ahead back in 1983. Uh, Steps Ahead was a groundbreaking ensemble that was led by vibraphonist Mike Marinari and saxophonist Michael Brecker. So this is called Pools. It's going to be featuring today, it's going to be featuring John Saldo, our lead alto player playing soprano. It's also going to feature our lead tenor player, Justin Claveria on tenor sax, and also Randy Tico on bass. This is Pools. Thank you. 
Soprano sax, Randy Tico on bass, great solo guys, and Justin Claveria on tenor saxophone. That's a fun song to play for us tenor guys. Pools, uh, arranged by John Fetchock. Fetchock. Uh, okay, so moving on here, uh, uh, we're gonna play the next song we're gonna do is called Pen Up House. So. Uh, this is a Sonny Rollins favorite. Uh, th this one is arranged by David Lalama, brother of uh, Ralph Lalama from the Village Vanguard and uh, Village Vanguard fame. Uh, 
so this is arranged by David Lalama for his album called The Hofstra Project. He is a, he is a professor over at Hofstra University. Uh, this was recorded back in 2012. Um, a little bit about the song, Pen A Pen Up House, it was written uh, for Cindy Rollins' album called Cindy Rollins Plus Four uh, back in 1955. Uh, Sonny Rollins had just joined the uh, Clifford Brown Max Roach band after Harold Land had to leave. And uh, he, uh, he uh, decided to go ahead and use the whole entire band to record this album. So that's where the plus four is, uh, Clifford, Max Roach, uh, Richie Powell. Um, this is a fun arrangement. Uh, starts out with uh, our wonderful drummer and a, a very good singer, uh, uh, Kevin Winard playing the melody on drums as the horns uh, this time uh, create the rhythm. Um, this is going to feature uh, John Saldo on alto saxophone, Randy Tico on bass, a little bit we're going to hear from George Friedenthal on piano, and we're also going to hear again from Mark Mayer on the trombone as well as Ke Kevin Winard on drums. This was a fun arrangement because it includes Clifford Brown's world famous and one of my favorite uh, solos um, arranged, orchestrated for the whole entire horn section. So this is a fun one for us here. So this is Pen Up House, written by Sonny Rollins, arranged by David Lalama. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
yeah, guys. Yeah. Fantastic. That's not easy. You guys did a great job. Thank you. Pen Up House by Sonny Rollins and arranged by Ralph LaLama. Okay, let me give these guys a little bit of a rest while I introduce uh, the next tune. So uh, the next one that we're going to do is called Blue Daniel, Blue Daniel. And this is a, a favorite jazz uh, standard of all of ours. And this was written by trombonist Frank Rosalino. Uh, this one is arranged by a fantastic Canadian uh, big band uh, leader and uh, arranger. Uh, Rob McConnell. Uh, this arrange arrangement was originally featured on Rob McConnell's album uh, from 1998 called Two Originals, Brass, My Soul, and Tribute. So this one is kind of a fun one, a nice uh, down-home swinger, and uh, this one is also going to feature Mark Maynard. Mark, Mark's got a lot of solos tonight. He must have paid somebody off. So we got uh, Mark Maynard, we got Eric Heidner, and the entire trombone section here. Uh, all, everybody's going to play a little bit. So this is uh, Blue Daniel. Thank you. 
Blue Daniel, Rob McConnell, Frank Rosalino. Thank you, Mark. Mark Maynard on trombone, Eric Heitner on trombone, and the whole trombone section here. Uh, where we also have uh, Mike Evans, Stephen Hughes, and Tom Mui, along with Eric and Mark. Blue Daniel. All right. So we're officially halfway through, actually more than halfway through. So we're going to be playing a couple more songs, and it's getting a little warm in here. It's getting a little warm. It's nice to have this weather here uh, in sunny Santa Barbara. You know, I think the high was 80, 81, and it feels like summer already. So anyway, going on, um, the next song we're going to be playing is a song titled Kids Are Pretty People. And uh, this was written and arranged by Thad Jones. Uh, this chart was... Uh, was uh, recorded by the Thad Jones Mel Lewis Jazz Orchestra on uh, their album called Monday Night back in 1968. Uh, Thad, a little bit about Thad. Thad Jones was uh, from a musical family of 10. 10, holy cow. Uh, some of his brothers, uh, one, of his brother was, uh, one of his brothers was a, a pianist Hank Jones and his younger brother in that family was Elvin Jones. So imagine having three um, world-famous jazz musicians coming out of the same family. That's quite unheard of. So um, Thad Jones has often been regarded as one of the most hippest big band arrangers out there with his complex harmonies and his just forward thinking and, and arranging uh, for modern big band. 
So he's one of my, my favorite uh, big band arrangers uh, as well. So Kids Are Pretty People is kind of like a swing ballad. Um, it's probably the closest thing to a ballad that we're going to be doing tonight. And it's going to feature uh, a couple more trombones. How about that? So we got uh, James Sue, who's going to start off the, the, the tune with some trumpet fills. And then we got Mark Maynard and Tommy Mooey. Tommy Mooey. Oh, Lee Neuschwander, pardon me. We got Lee, Lee Neuschwander on the trumpet fills. And we also have Tom Mooey, uh, son of world famous Jim Mooey. And Jim is uh, running the, the sound and the Zoom boxes for us. And uh, he's doing a great job. Uh, he, uh, thanks to him, uh, we're, we're able to continue to play, uh, meet, and still make music and provide at-home concerts. So thank you. Thank you, Jim Mooey. Okay, so well, let's see. Uh, this is also going to, we're going to hear a little bit of George Friedenthal, a little bit of Randy Tico as well on bass. Uh, kids are pretty people. That Jones. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fantastic. Lee Neuschwander. Fantastic. Tommy Mui on trombone. Tommy Mui. And Mark Maynard. Mark Maynard. Right on. Kids Are Pretty People by Thad Jones. And uh, some wonderful fills and setups by uh, Kevin Winard. Thank you, Kevin. All right. So we got uh, one more song to do uh, for you guys. And we're going to get funky. It's going to be a, a slow, slow funk. Not that slow. But anyway, this is called Slow Funk by uh, Bob Minsert. Um, this chart was originally ra arranged and written um, uh, for Buddy Rich's big band back when uh, Bob Minsert was in the band in 81. Uh, uh, it was also later recorded by Minsert's own band in 1985 on his album, a big band album called uh, Incredible Journey. So that was a cool, funky, funky one. Uh, lots of cool things happening. Uh, and uh, this is going to feature uh, our lead tenor player, Justin Claveria, and also Gustavo Lizarraga. So we're going to have uh, some tenor, lots of tenor stuff going on in here. So uh, this would be a good closer. This is called uh, Slow Funk.
<laughs> Great job, guys. Uh, that was uh, Justin Claveria on tenor sax. Gustavo Lazaraga on tenor sax. Both of Santa Barbara High. Both of Santa Barbara High. So that's it for us tonight. Uh, I want to say thank you to everybody who came out and uh, spent a little bit of their uh, Sunday night happy hour with us. Uh, I want to also introduce the band here and thank you guys for spending all your your Sundays with us, creating music, dedicating your time uh, for this. So on saxes, we got John Saldo, John Saldo on alto sax, Owen Richards, alto sax. We got, we've heard from Justin Claveria and Gustavo Lizarraga, both on tenor. And we got our main man, Jake Bono on the Barry sax. Come correct, brother. All right. On trumpets, we got lead trumpet Mike Minch on trumpet. Thank you, Mike. Greg Kitty on trumpet two. We got James Sue and Lee, Dr. Lee Neuschwander, Dr. Lee, right there. All right, and trombones, we got Eric Heidner on lead bone. Oh my goodness, you got some fans out there. Eric Heidner on trombone one. We got some Mark Maynard. Mark Maynard. We heard a lot of Mark today. Thank you, Mark. I wonder if he's got any chops left today. Uh, we got Tommy Mui on trombone. There is Tom. Mike Evans. Mike Evans on bass bone. And our book and other book in bass bone we have is Stephen Hughes. Stephen Hughes, band director over at La Colina Junior High. Rhythm section. On guitar, we got the Bill Redman on guitar. George Friedenthal on piano. Randy Tico on bass. Great solos from you guys. And Kevin Winard, just on drums tonight, no vocals. Thank you, Kevin, for helping us out. Uh, our other drummer uh, couldn't, couldn't perform with us this year, so Kevin graciously has been helping us out. So thank you so much for dedicating and spending our Sundays with us, Kevin. Thank you. 
I also have a couple other thank yous here uh, to make. I also want to thank uh, here at Santa Barbara City College for all their support, uh, including uh, Nathan Kreitzer, department chair. Nathan Kreitzer, thank you. Uh, Dean of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, Elizabeth Emoff, thank you so much. Uh, former department chair, John Clark. Without John, I, I wouldn't be here right now, so thank you so much, John, Dr. John Clark. James Watson for all the technical support, all the times he, uh, can you order this chart? Can you get this chart for us? Can you help us out? So thank you, James. And I also want to thank uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Charles Wood out there who's listening. Uh, he's been with us for such a long time. This is his first year without, without playing with us. So he's the one who kind of started all this, this madness. So thank you, Chuck. Thank you for, for everything you, you've done for us in the band of Santa Barbara. And also, I want to thank my partner in crime here, uh, without Jim. This is Jim Mui. Without Jim, none of this would be able to be happening. Jo Jim had the idea. He found the technology, put this all together, involving Jamulus and involving Zoom and um, all, all the stuff that I don't even understand. So thank you so much, Jim, for helping us out and for uh, being here on uh, this Sunday afternoon. I'd also like to thank, too, uh, my wife, Yumi, for all her support, letting me use the back room here uh, to go do music stuff, so thank you. And um, thank you, all of you, for, for spending time with us. And so uh, hopefully the next time you hear from us, we'll be in person. We'll, we'll see. Let's cross our fingers. Not that this isn't so bad, but let's cross our fingers. Hopefully we can uh, be back soon. And that's about it. So with that, Kevin. Even though we're already home, why don't you uh, take us home, baby? <laughs>